uh, we are back again with our batch tutorial so this will be the video 2 of continuation of SVN series in which we will be configuring SVN on SVN server to know how we have launched both of these instances refer video 1 and to know the basics of SVN refer basics of SVN uh, video in batch tutorial so let's move ahead so I will be picking this IP and I will be logging into the server. I already actually logged in, so I will be restarting it. So I will be using it. The first step which we will be doing while configuring SPN is to update. This is the steps which I will be following. I already disabled SC Linux, right? So now I will be updating. I will be updating my YAM repo for Red Hat. So Red Hat will going through all the uh, repositories and cloud and updating the packages on the server. So next step which we will be doing is installing the HTTPD and HTTPD tools because obviously we are using HTTP for our configuration of SVN right. So to do it we should have server HTTP server running onto our, uh, running onto our machine. To do it we will be installing this. So this uh, yum uh, is already being updated. So after start after installing HTTP, we will be configuring subversion subversion tool and this is the module mod underscore dev underscore svn which is actually making aware you or uh, making aware your http that we are using subversion on http so this mod is really necessary module is nearly necessary to be installed onto your server so let it update all the packages been updated now we will be moving with installing HTTPD and HTTPD tools when these uh, it when after installing HTTPD and HTTPD tools we will be starting the HTTPD service and now we will be installing subversion subversion tool mod underscore dev underscore subversion now when my subversion is installed now i will be creating the svn directory so i will be creating an svn directory right after creating an svn directory i will be using svn admin create to create my project rep repository in which my whole project will be versioned so svn admin creating an project repository whose name is project underscore svn so when i go into this repository i will see bunch of bunch of files already been created so these are con file db format hooks logs and readme.txt so these are bunch of files which will be created once you create a repository for your project so moving ahead I need to change the permission of all, a whole project repository to Apache Apache because we will be using the uh, HTTP at the back end to access it right. So I have already changed the. So moving ahead I will be going I will be configuring now svn.conf svn.conf is a file which will be redirecting you uh, your apache to the right repository and the right uh, svn path this 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 video is we are not using any authentication or, or access control that uh, i will be shooting in another video over it this is some simple SVN configuration.
so now i have created svn.com now moving forward i will be reloading my httpd service now my almost svn configuration is done now i will start testing so i will create my first project repository i will create trunk branches and tags and my project repository will be named as project so if i go to cd temp repositories so project will be my first repository under project i have three files those are trunk tags and branches right so now i will be importing this project repository into my svn so to use to import it we will be using svn import command then we will be using command that will be in my initial import then i will be giving the relative path of my project and i will be giving http my public ip my svn and my project svn project uh, repository which i have created so my public ip i need to get from my aws console so this is my public ip or if you are using private ip within your environment then put here your private ip or do if config and copy it so my project is been imported into my svn repository almost done with our svn configuration uh, so in order to check it let's try to check that into my browser so these are my branches tags and trunks this is my revision number 1 so this is the completion of my video 2 in which we have configured svn on to our svn server for accessing this svn over https we will be using svn client which we have already installed and will be running various checkout and update commands of svn from that which i have shot it in video number 3 and refer that please like and share it if you think this is relevant and keep learning thank you